One of the genres of games that I don't get to cover all that much simply because we weren't developing them is the strategy game. But ever since StarCraft 2, nothing has ever really come up to the bar. The last one we saw was Age of Empires 4, which while admittedly it was a success, hasn't really scratched that itch. So I was relatively pleased when Rogue Command dropped on my desk this morning because I thought A, it'll be a little bit different to go through, and B, I know there's a lot of strategy fans out there always hungering for the next game. So it is an early access title, it's going to be released on Steam and it's developed and published by Fennec. Now I'm going to say this first of all, it is a single player game which I, I thought you should know pretty early on because for me I really do like the multiplayer elements of RTS. That being said, it does bring something pretty unique to the table in the sense that it is an RTS strategy game and I don't think I've ever come across anything like this before. Essentially it plays like any other standard RTS, you have an engineer, you get resources and you build a base and you build up an army and then go attack whoever is opposing you. But the difference is you have to choose between three cards which will give you addition to different factories, support buildings, turrets or even super weapons. So you guessed it, it is a roguelike RTS. And the theory being that every time you do a playthrough it will be different to the last one that you've just ran. Now I also think it's worth mentioning the fact that this game looks really really similar to Supreme Commander and if you're old enough to remember it like myself it's kind of got that kind of clunky 3D elements to it. It did say that it was inspired by classical RTS and I, I cannot believe that it isn't Supreme Commander. Even the way the robots walk around to kind of like you know that blocky 2x4 rocket launcher laser that they mount on their shoulders and even some of the building design. And personally, while I don't find that offensive because I enjoyed the look of Supreme Commander, there are those that will look at it and go, hmm, this looks a little bit outdated, maybe it's not for me. Now, while it does have simplified looks and feel to it, it does bring other complexities, again, that's not been seen in the RTS scene before. You can actually use the weather and the world to your advantage. So, for example, you can bring them into fog, which will slow down enemies. Or alternatively, you can bring them into electrified bushes, which will stun your enemy. There are also chests with power-ups in them and also hidden technologies that are scattered around the map for you to take advantage of. In total there are over a hundred blueprint cards that you can pick from so you can make some quite crazy synergies per run that you do. And if you're a fan of procedurally generated maps then there's over 20 that you can play through. Personally I really like roguelikes and I like seeing new entries to the genre because they do have that replayability and they're always fun and challenging and mixing it with the strategy genre certainly is a new one for me. Whether or not it will be fun and effective we will have to wait and see. As I say it's not something that we have anything to compare to so far. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think of this. Do you think this could actually work in a strategy game? Let me know in the comments below. This comes out in 2022 in early access. When I know more of an official date, I will let you know. But until then, have a great week, everyone. Stay well, stay healthy, and I'll be back with more news and reviews soon.